Twenty seconds in Thailand, Thailand Rob, and guess what day it is today? No, not what day it is today. That doesn't really matter. Today is a special day for me. Why, you might ask, because you've got mail. Yep, everybody, the packages have arrived. Man, it is getting hot here lately. It's just hot all the time. Even the Thai people say it's hot. What was that? Cyan. The Cyan's from. Mm. This one has been long awaited. Man, you guys package this really well. I mean, really well. Okay, there we go. 15 minutes later. Huh. Holy, holy moly. Thank you guys so much. That, that's a bunch of beef jerky. Okay, that's... Uh-huh. Big thing. Aha. Uh -huh. Dude, spot on. This is so expensive here. I forgot the exact price, but it's not cheap here. So thank you. Thank you so much. <laughs> to get whoa oh it's okay though I think that's what happens when you put cans of drinks on air oh not all the time but whoa oh there's two more again thank you guys I appreciate that ah Kelvin I know what I know what this is hat three of them thank you because because you guys I used to wear hats all the time, but what happened was my old apartment got mold in it and the mold attacked so much of my clothing, including the hats that I had, that they had to be thrown away. They Finland. Y Yari. Oh. Oh, okay. A little tripod. Thanks, dude. Thank you. I appreciate that so much. Talk to you on Patreon, on uh, Facebook. My boat. And now to talk to the rest of you just a little bit more. This question is from Steve asking when he gets to Bangkok where he should look for a hotel in Phuket. And I say this all the time. Um, the thing that I do is I go to Agoda or Booking.com or somewhere like that. Seriously, you're gonna find the prices will be right there and then you can judge like what star hotel you want to. That's really what I recommend because you no, know, there's so many hotels here. Did I like the kangaroo bar and what hotel is that? Oh, Kangaroo bar is always fun. Yeah, definitely. Fun. The hotel was a Holiday Inn Resort. Phuket. Patong, patong. Mark writes, how much does a night on Bangalore Road cost? Are you kidding me? I've heard stories of, I have heard stories of people spending ridiculously amounts of money. I'm talking 20,000 baht a night on Bangalore Road. You, you spend anything. Oh, no. Yeah, drinks and everything cost more there, so the price is just, it could be whatever on Bangalore Road. It could be that anywhere in Thailand, actually, but Bangalore Road is quite pricey. When did I move from my old place to my new place? Uh, December, last year, December. Rob, you look tired. <coughs> Let me explain. And th I'll do a two-part here, why I look tired, and the second one is to answer a question. Many people have asked me, do I ever find it hard to come up with content? No, I don't find it hard to come up with content unless I'm sick or I have not just feeling good. And for the past week or so, I have been sick with a cold, and the past three days, I just had no energy whatsoever. So that's the only time I don't, I can't come up with contents when I'm just not in a good mood. Otherwise, I'm happy and joyful and walking around and saying hello to everybody. But when I'm home feeling bad, I don't, you know, you don't see me do too many videos from home just sitting around because I don't, I don't like to do that. Have I gone shore fishing yet? So. Sorry, no I haven't. I don't take myself out very much. I haven't, I've only been in the water here twice. So sad, so sad. But anyone that knows me from Florida knows that I did the same thing in Florida with Siesta Key Beach. Type in Siesta Key Beach and see what I didn't go in as well. Expo wants to know why is the hotel price so secretive? <clears throat> it's not, it just changes all the time. So I just go to the website and look for it there. It's not really a secret. But if someone watches this video a year from now or six months from now, it's not going to be the same price. So I don't put the price in. But the Lebanese food that we ate any good? I had never eaten. Hello. 
Mm. Was the Lebanese food any good? The Lebanese food was awesome. I had never had Lebanese food, but I'll definitely have it again. And I was, I was critical at first going in because that was just something new. Mm. Very good. Jason, you're asking about money on uh, Bangla Road versus Patia. I kind of touched on Bangla Road a little while ago, and Patia is far cheaper. Bank Bangkok's cheaper, so. Bangla Road, Phuket, one of the most expensive places in Thailand you could go. Cloud, you were asking about if people live in uh, Patong and Phuket. Yes, many, many people live there. There's some nice places to live there. Some really nice places to live there. But you were saying that Kamala, it looks like a northern residential type. It is. An example would be like Charlotte, North Carolina. And I don't know if you know Charlotte, North Carolina. Charlotte, North Carolina is like a big city in North Carolina. It's the headquarters of Bank of America. It's just big. Football stadiums and everything. You can live there, but it's going to be more expensive, and you can never get away from the like the, the, the hustle bustle, like New York City. But people just live right outside of it, like Kamala, to just have a little peace and quiet. And yeah, 15 minutes down the road if you want to go back to the... <laughs> Chaplin wants to know how much to pay for rent in this area. Basically, I think if you get a really small place with no air con, no hot water, you can get that for as low as 3,500 baht a month. You'll live further away from the beach and it'll be small, but it's that cheap. And then, <clears throat> then you can pay anything through the roof. There's condos being built here right now. It's, yeah, they're gonna, I have no idea what the price. I know one guy I know, he's paying 35,000 baht a month for a three-story house. It's got land and everything, but it's a lot of money. Patia asks, what kind of equipment am I using? And you give a compliment on the video. Thank you very much. Uh, all the equipment that I use is in the descriptions below. Other than that, the only thing, um, George, a friend of mine, hey George, if you're watching, George taught me how to tweak a couple things on um, editing. So that's why it answers another question. Someone said that I get a new camera because the picture quality got better. No, I got schooled a little bit on how to uh, make the image look a bit better on um, my editing. Oh yeah, for those of you who have sent the money for Jessica's lady drink, uh, I've went up there twice and I keep missing her as soon as I get back up there. Uh, excuse me, as soon as I get back up there and she's there as well, we will get the lady drinks to her. Is the Foxtail Massage still in Camelot? I absolutely have no idea, but I can guarantee that if you go back there, if it is still here, the same people will not be working there. There's 23 massage places just on this one road right now. And every three months, they just all move around. The one thing I've noticed that is so wild here in Thailand is you can see someone that will be here today and then they're just gone tomorrow. You go back to Isan or they just go somewhere, they just move. Building a friendship here, you better be on Facebook because they're going to be gone. Ugh. Tony says, why are your vlogs so short? Ah, uh, well, depending on the vlog, if I'm hanging out personally with friends, and maybe, you know, of course, maybe sometimes they don't want to be on camera, and if we're hanging out all day and all evening, then there's less to video. And so, I don't like to take four days of video and cram them in together. Sometimes that doesn't make any sense. People used to say all the time in the beginning, do a story. Well, I'm not a storyteller, but it does make more sense to start at the beginning of a day and end at the end of the day. So sometimes I just don't have enough footage, but it's enough to make at least a five minute vlog, which to me, five minutes is better than absolutely nothing, or a 10 minute vlog of three different things. I don't know, put it in the comments if you would rather see a collage of stuff or just a one story. I've done this before and people give me all different answers from the left to the right or on your side from the left to the right. Uh, uh, uh. Robert, you write it. Actually, this is a really good question. I was thinking about this just the other day of doing it. it says, I have heard that you're not supposed to touch Thai people's head or point to them. And he's mis He's wondering how in videos sometimes you'll see me touch someone's head. Okay, yes, in Thailand, if you walk up to someone and you just touch their head or you rub their head, no, 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 no. You don't do that. You don't do any of that. What am I doing? No mufflers. If you become personal friends with someone, intimate with someone, care about someone, children that are close to you, friends, 
yeah, you still don't want to touch their face or nothing like that, but if you're close to these people, they're going to touch you in the face too. I mean, it's, you're like you're like family then or close friends. I mean, you can't go anywhere in the world, I don't think, and touch some stranger on the head. I mean, that's, yeah, it's just in Thailand, the head is the pinnacle, the highest point, and the foot is the lowest point. The head is sacred, and the foot is uh, like an insult to throw your shoe at someone or point your foot at someone. But if you get to know someone, the Thai people will do it back. They'll point, and I'll joke with them. I'll say, like, you're not supposed to point, and then we all just start pointing. But you have to be friends with these people, and that's what I guess doesn't come through on the camera sometimes. I know these people. I know everyone. Some of you may think all these people are strangers, but no, I know these people. I've got to know them for the past year. So I hope that explains a little bit about touching people on the head. Can I touch you on the head? Can I touch you on the head? Is it okay to touch you on the head? Can I touch you on the head? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> you like your coconut milk? Yes, mm. hot milk. You want to be on the camera too as the princess? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. See, that's all I mean. Okay, little princess wanted to say hello to. Hello, what's in your mouth? She is what? She just came from school and now she's dancing. Cheeky cheeky. Okay. Oh, uh, M, can you write to, uh, that I don't do enough strip club bars and stuff? I tell you what I'll do, since I don't do a lot of those and you seem to like them a whole lot and other people like them as well. In the description below, I'm going to put some of the biggest channels you've ever seen do Thailand strip clubs. Go ahead. Out. Rob, how much for the Joker painting? The Joker painting, I just stopped by Cobb's place and she said that was 4,500. Ah, dang. 4,000 or 4,500. Sorry, I forgot that. Oh, I just had a Jessica sighting. Okay, it may be on. You guys might get to finally buy the drink. Huh? See, we had a Jessica sighting. <laughs> but she still has her braces for those of you who are keeping up with the braces. Mr. Felix, this is yours. Rodney, this is yours. <laughs> no one got me a beer, but it's okay. Cheers. <laughs> Took me up. You still have your braces. She said, why do you still have your braces? <laughs> She's been busy. Did you go to party last night with Um? Yes. You, you stay up all night till four. It's tough living in Thailand. There's so many parties to go to, right? Too many parties. What you get? Sang song apple juice. Sang song apple juice. Yes, vodka and apple juice. And vodka and apple juice. How many can you drink? I don't like whiskey. Sang Song, Sang Song whiskey. Thai whiskey. Yeah, I'm not a whiskey guy. Dark liquor. That's gonna end this one. I'm gonna go, it's a Q&A. It's the Q&A with Jessica Rabbit. Well, finishing with Jessica Rabbit. And thanks for the drinks. We'll see you next time. It's okay, you want, it's okay? They can buy you. Why not? Why not? Why not? Why not? World. Again, if you like this video, if you like Jessica, the thumbs up tell me a lot. The comments, there's so many comments sometimes it's hard to read through. But the thumbs up versus the thumb down, that's a real easy one. So we'll do that. And again, in the links, you can see all of the craziest videos that I can find on YouTube. And uh, I'll see you next time. We'll do something else, right? Up to Arai Garai. Can you take this asshole back to America, please? Oh. Oh. Pretty goody. Don't forget that.